Is your gospel good news? And if your gospel contains any of these, it's not good news. How about in medieval times? Here's the gospel. Is this true or false? God will not deny his grace to those who do what lies within their power. That's not the gospel and that's not good news. That's the equivalent of what 80% of Americans believe uh, from Benjamin Franklin. God helps those who help themselves. The gospel isn't be good, be nice, be kind, uh, some kind of behavioral modification. Be like Jesus, four spiritual laws, have a purpose in your life, have a relationship with God in your life, have your best life now, uh, be baptized, feed the poor, uh, speak in tongue, say the sinner's prayer, believe in the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, make Jesus your Lord, have a personal relationship with Jesus, decide for Jesus, let go for Jesus, let go and let God. What would Jesus do, WWJD? The gospel isn't even, although these are biblical, but it isn't even love the Lord your God, love your neighbor. It isn't even repent, believe. None of those. Is it important to talk about repentance and faith? Obviously, but those are responses to the gospel. They're not the gospel. And so when you're preaching, are you preaching good news? Uh, there are no demands or conditions in the gospel, but only promises and gifts. So says Herman Bavink. I offer you freely the grace of God in this call to come to the Lord Jesus, uh, to rest and to trust in him. Glad tidings unto you this day is born in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. In other words, the law is in the gospel. It isn't something for you to do, it's something that's done.